You turn your back on me, do like my homie, but fuck what they say, cause I had to keep going. I'm facing like hard, I could've been gone. She wanted me only. I ain't surprised, don't wanna know why. My head to the sky, my heart on this corner. I'm from the north, I cut that shit short. I prayed to the Lord, back then I was homeless. Mm. It's actually pretty fucking dope. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Cardboard Collector, a.k.a. The GOAT, a.k.a. Mr. Sneaker Trapper, a.k.a. Sneaker Trapper of the Year, every year. And I mean that. You should probably fight your shoe plug. But we got mail today. If we got mail, then we got a package. If we got a package, then we got another new shoe early before release that we are going to review in order to help you to decide whether you want to cop or not on release day. But before I get to that, I'm going to take a few seconds out to thank everyone who has been supporting us, who have been watching the videos, liking, commenting, uh, reposting. Uh, I have seen a few people repost on Instagram, Facebook, even on Twitter. Um, we appreciate that. We're going to continue to give you early reviews, even earlier. We're going to continue to give you inside looks at uh, the sneaker conventions, you know, sneaker cons and sneaker games, you know, when we vend there, when we buy there. We're going to continue to give you the inside look, just basically continue to give you real shit. None of that staged, phony shit that's just for the gram. We're going to continue to give you real content that gives you an actual inside look at the sneaker world today. Um... I know we took a little bit of a break here between videos. The last review that we did, it's been uh, like two weeks. Um, you know, we were pretty busy, man. Like I said, we did Sneaker Con. Um, that footage is out. We did Sneaker Games. Miami, that shit is going to be berserk when that when that, that, that video drops. I promise you, uh, it's going to be highly anticipated. It's going to be pretty damn entertaining. I'm actually kind of hype about it myself. Um... Outside of that, we had the Bread 11 release. Uh, that shit was bananas. Um, I, 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 I can't even count how many pairs I've actually touched with these two fucking hands. Um, and that's not even counting my team. Like, we made a lot of happy fucking Merry Christmas situations. I can promise you if it was Bread 11 uh, associated. So, we're back now. And we're back with this box. If you know the box, you know, Jordan 5, Jordan 6, I don't give you too much. But I will say, when I first saw this shoe, I wasn't that excited about it. Um, the pictures that I saw, I was like, ah, oh, you know, this is something we've saw. We've seen it done before. We've actually seen it done better. Um, collaboration. This is not a collaboration. I'm like, you know, just seems like we're dragging this shit through the mud and really we kind of beating a dead horse. But I got this shoe in about three days ago and I'm singing a different tune. Shit's fucking fire. Uh, Jordan brand, again, is closing the year out extremely strong. Um, we know, you know, some shoes already that 2020 already has in store for us. Uh, but to see, you know, Jordan brand kind of close this year out the way that they have. I mean, of course, you know, we were, you know, we knew the Brand 11s were coming. You know, the Fearless release, the fear, the whole Fearless pack. All of that shit was amazing. Um, we probably won't be getting Chicago 1s uh, 2020, but we'll talk about that later. I digress. Uh, so, like I said, as far as closing the year out, Jordan brand has done fantastic. Um, with preparing us for everything that they have coming up in 2020. And I think this shoe kind of puts the icing on the cake. This is a December 28th release. There are three days left in the year after this release, and we probably won't be getting any more fucking shoes. So let's just say this is the final Jordan release of 2019. Let's dive in.
Bang. This is the Jordan 6 denim. I gotta tell you, when I got when I saw these shoes, uh shit, maybe two or three months ago, I was not a huge fan of the pictures. I couldn't really tell the quality of the denim. I could not really tell, you know, just how, you know, I almost thought that it was just like a denim, like textured, like like leather. I thought it was, I, I did not know that they were actually going to be blue jean material. Um, looking at it now, I was dead ass wrong. I was completely fucking wrong. Uh, this shoe was gas. This shoe is, this shoe is, this, this is the best shoe of December. Fuck the Bread 11s. I mean, that was a fantastic release. This shoe is the best release of December. I don't really even know what to say, man. I got to tell you, like, I'm a huge fan of denim. I'm a huge fan of denim. I thought, I know you can see, like, I got the denim dunks right here. That shit just ages so well. It, it wears perfectly. The older it gets, the better it gets. Um... I mean, it, the, the fact that you can customize these, I'm pretty sure we're going to see people like within the first day of receiving these, they're going to start bleaching them. They're going to start distressing them. And this shoe will last you for a long time. This is this is a shoe that will get better with age. The only difference is, of course, you got that clear white sole. Um, you know, that's the majority on most sixes. That's what you get. But it's, it's going to be a great shoe. I mean, we got leather on the front toe. If you ask me, this shoe is a no-brainer simply for the fact that it is denim. Denim, I mean, this is ready to go with everything, especially for people who like to customize or like to make their shoes different. This is ready to go. You have both the light denim, the dark denim. You have the mix of black in there, so you could do that. Look at this fucking, like, the, 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 the tongue on this shit, man. It's like the back, like, above the back pocket of... of of like your jeans in the back where you have like the little leather shit on um, the little tag or whatever like this shit is a quality shoe like this is premium materials we could have i mean we could have been looking at this as like a like a jordan six pinnacle um but i mean overall the, the the concept the execution was was great i will say this debate me in the comments but i'm gonna tell you like this denim is better than the denim on the Levi's fours. Don't at me. Well, I guess you can't at me, you know, if you want to tell me. But I'm telling you, this shit is better. Like, take your time out. Look at the shoe. Look at your Levi's fours if you got them. I don't want to hear that hype shit, like, because the Levi's fours at a resale value, like a grand or some shit. Don't come in my comments about the hype shit and expecting a shoe to be better than another shoe because it's got a ton of hype. And this one is a little, it's going to be a little more accessible. That shit's irrelevant to me. We're talking about the quality of the shoe. And I, like I said, I, 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 I take the time out to answer every comment in the comment section. If you come to me and try to debate me and tell me that the quality of the denim on this shoe is not better than the quality of the denim on that Levi's 4. This shit is simply missing a Levi's tag. And it doesn't need it. Um, shoe's just fucking fire, man. Like, I mean, I can already see, I know, I already have ideas in my head of how I'm going to rock this shoe. I mean, like I said, man, I'm completely, I have switched sides. I was against this shoe. I probably posted pictures on my story or whatever on Instagram um, saying how much I disliked the shoe, saying how much I, you know, I thought like, oh, uh, you know, we, now we're just going to keep trying to do the denim thing. But no, this shoe is straight gas. Let me know what you feel. You know, let me know what you think about these shoes in the comments. Again, December 28th. Um, $200, man. This is, this is a $200 shoe. This shit is, this is a $400 shoe. Like, this shoe is, is premium materials. I mean, the fucking leather on the tongue. Like, you, you're not... This is not a $200 shoe. I promise you, this shoe, mark my words, this shoe will sell out. And it will sell out fast. 
This shoe will sell out faster than the bread he left. At me. In other words, cardboard collector approved. Go get the fucking shoe, man. Yeah, yeah. I got the nigga scared. I'ma pull a bar to pull up anywhere. It took a little minute to get to the top. Come try to come fuck with me when we done.